Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Goon. But they're going to be naming the All Star team, and I just would like to get your thoughts on what it would be like in rookie season to be named an All Star. Yeah, I think it would <clears throat> certainly be cool. Um, I think at the same time, like. I don't think you like set out to achieve those things. I think it's very similar to, I don't know, everything you, I, I had in college. Like you just play the game and you have fun, and those are the type of things that come along with it. Um, I think you know those type of things kind of take care of themselves as long as you go about your business in the right way every single day. Um, but yeah, it would be certainly be cool. Like I was a kid that grew up watching the All Star Game, um, but I guess that's not my main focus. Whatever happens, happens, and it is what it is. Go watch here on the right. Caitlin, I know as a as an athlete you used to get through tough things, but I know you've had some migraines over the years and even in college. How do you when you feel that happen in a game, how do you sort of fight through that and get through that? Yeah, it's tough. Honestly, like adrenaline does a lot of it for me. Um, and once the game stops, that's like that's when I like really feel it. Um, and it's it's hard. Um, but honestly, like I've suffered from them since I was a very young kid, so I've found a way to like manage them and still go about my business. Um, everybody around me kind of like knows that's kind of what I deal with. And um, but there's a lot of bigger problems in the world. I'm lucky mine is migraines, so I could have worse things to deal with. But um, I mean, Phoenix had a great crowd, a great environment. Uh, the lights in there were crazy. The music was crazy, so that certainly didn't help. Um, but no, I mean, I honestly think it's adrenaline is what gets me through most games. It's like you don't really feel it, but once the game stops, it's like, ow, it hurts. <laughs> The first round on the left. Hey, Caitlin. Uh, you're at the halfway point of your first professional season. I'm just curious if you can assess, self assess your progress on and off the court. You've had to deal with so much exposure, pressure, things like that. And here you are, you're, you're playing well, your team's playing well. Yeah. Um... I would say it was definitely a, a tough start um, just in regards to the schedule and things like that and the inexperience this team had um, but I'm proud of myself I feel I feel like I've grown a lot I, I, I can't believe the season's halfway over and we're already at game 20 it's kind of hard to wrap our head around and um, but I, I felt like there's been a lot of growth um, for our team as a whole but me personally and just improving in areas that I have want to improve in and a lot of that has been having to go game to game and improve like I haven't had a ton of time to like practice and really individually work on things that I want to get better at and for myself like that's what's so exciting for me about you know the Olympic break coming up and then even after this first year of like really having time to improve on things that I want to improve on like I feel like there's just so much there that I can still get so much better at um, and for me like that's exciting that's fun like um, knowing that I have that much potential to grow and really get better and help my team get that much better um, but overall like I feel like we've We've really done a good job, obviously, starting one and eight. And, you know, last month we go seven and four. And really, our game at Chicago, we're up 15 points. So we should have had an opportunity to go eight and three in that month. Um, so I'm, I'm proud of our group for staying, you know, kind of resilient and, you know, never hanging our heads. Like, we always just came back and worked. And I think this last month, the basketball has been really good for us. Go first row in the middle, then second row in the middle. Chris, Kayla, you had a pretty impressive game in Phoenix, mm -hmm. uh, getting a triple-double. Uh, how do you uh, carry that momentum into this game? Want us to shine triple double? Yeah, um, I think uh, honestly, I didn't shoot the ball very well. Um, but at the same time, I think that sh like you don't have to shoot the ball well to impact the game in all different areas. Like I still felt like that was like one of my better games I've played. Just the impact I had setting my teammates up, um, taking what the defense gave me. I thought I got really good looks. Sometimes they go down, sometimes they don't. And honestly, I've been shooting the ball well. So you know, you're gonna have a game like that here and there. And um, but yeah, I mean. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more comfortable. You can tell I'm starting to feel out the game a little bit better. I think when I can get the rebound, I have a lot of success pushing in transition. Our team has a lot of success pushing in transition. So the more we can do that and get stops on the defensive end, um, the better. No second row middle. Hi, Caitlin. Um, you alluded to the time off coming up. What are you going to do or, or not do with that time? Oh, geez. Well, <laughs> I honestly haven't thought that, thought that uh, Far, far ahead. I think, uh, first of all, like get some rest. Like that'll probably be the healthiest thing for my body. But at the same time, like, what is it? Four weeks, three and a half weeks, whatever it is. Like we have an opportunity to like really get in the gym and get better. Um, an opportunity, like I said, an opportunity for myself to like work on things that I want to work on. Um, so I know we're gonna have quite a bit of practice, and you know that's that's how it should be for an inexperienced group that 
really didn't have much time to practice at the beginning of the season, you know, going into this break, like we're gonna have an opportunity to, to practice and it's gonna be really important. Obviously it can come down to one game for us, you know, trying to get into the playoffs. So every every second of practice is really gonna matter that we can improve, you know, just a little bit. Um, so, you know, hopefully that, hopefully lay low and get some rest, maybe go back home, um, enjoy my family, see them a little bit more. Obviously it's been hard to see my friends and family, just the quick turnaround that I've had. So, um, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Last two on Zoom, Sabrina, then Matt. Caitlin, um, you and Aaliyah are now the second most prolific assist combo in the WNBA. Obviously, practice time helps, but what do you think has contributed to you being able to find her in better spots as the season has gone on? Yeah, I think it's just like the chemistry, like you kind of just see it flowing a little bit better out there. Out there. I think we've gotten a lot better in, um, when we get blitzed in the ball screen action. Uh, AB has gotten you know a lot better at getting on the same page with me. Just both of us working together of you know AB catching it when she rolls out of that and you know either making the shot, driving to the basket, swinging it to the next side. I think you can just tell it's kind of flowing a little bit better. But um, I think we're starting to build that chemistry that's kind of unspoken. Like you know she kind of knows where to cut and where to move, and I kind of know where to get her the ball. So um, it's a fun thing, and I really think we're just obviously scratching the surface. We haven't had a ton of time to practice together, and I've only really played 20 games together. So uh, the more we can continue to practice and play together, I think the better it's going to get. Last one, Matt. Yeah, hi, Caitlin. I mean, you, you've talked before about how rewarding it is um, to have an impact on the community. And as I, I saw that Bailey flew in today to, to be at a, a, a shoot around, and, and even though a whole team played a part, you know, meeting and greeting her, just kind of what did that mean to have her there? And it, sorry, sorry, you're able to give her a gift, and it, it, it just seemed like a really happy moment. Yeah, I think you know, those type of interactions and things, like that just puts life into perspective. Like, sure, it puts basketball into perspective, but like, it's life. Like, at the end of the day, like, this basketball doesn't matter. Like, that poor girl has like, obviously lost her mom already to cancer and then is fighting for her own life. Um, for me, like, this is what she spent her wish on. Like, how cool is that? Um, to bring her family here and enjoy this opportunity. And also, I think it shows the impact of women's basketball, not only from the standpoint of how good the game is, but also, the relationship she's built with obviously me and Kate but like she loves the aces and she loves the fever she loves the WNBA um, she wanted to come here and, and see this game and such a big arena so um, like I said I think it puts life into perspective um, for me I think it's just very something I'm very grateful for like to have those opportunities and interactions and like obviously that makes an impact on her but it does in my life too like it puts my life into perspective and you know sometimes basketball can feel like the end of the world to you and Really, it's obviously not. It's just a game. It's just my job and um, a cool opportunity to, to spend some time with her family. Westside, Westside, Westside. Nearly got yeah. it, Bobby. We on the top. We on the top. We on the top. We on the top. Had to get it with my guys. Never stop. Mr. Go and split the pie. Never stop.